Well, back at it again, explaining it all. We got our good friend, Legally Hype. It's time to believe the hype. What are we tackling this week? Okay, so we got a lot to get through this week. So first, we're going to talk about Comedy Zeke. Y'all know that's the president of Ukraine. He got at Congress this week. And when I tell you, he went hard on America. He went hard on America. Mm. We got to touch on Jesse Smollett. Mm. He yeah, was about to get his- touched on. Do you think apparently so? That, well, that's what the phone call apparently had went down to see it, but you know, Ooh. him, him <laughs> been acting, him been acting. Then we got to <laughs> talk about Mr. Stevie J, because Mr. Stevie J, come on now. He violated this week. Big time. I, that was a violation for real. Mm-hmm. Like he's doing the most. I don't know what Faith got him on, but he messed <laughs> up right now. And then we're going to talk about this little Navy uh, sailor. He didn't found his wife getting down with the get down. Mm. And he got down with the good down too. And now him in jail. <laughs> wow. yes. Okay. It's a lot to unpack. So let's mm-hmm. start off with Comedy Zeke. Comedy Zeke. Okay. So boom. So let's just start it off like this. First things first. Auntie Nancy. Now she's the speaker of the house. And you know, she a big dog. Because if anything happened to Big Daddy Biden or VP Harris, she get to run the show. Mm-hmm. So... She didn't introduce Comedy Zeke to the Congress. Now, y'all know Zeke. He a cool little brother or whatever. So he on the big screen. He got his little muscle shirt on. Auntie Nancy, <laughs> she introduced him. I don't know if y'all remember Auntie Nancy when they did the little Kente class for Juneteenth. Oh, yeah. You do remember Okay. That. And yeah, she, she knew. made it a screensaver. <laughs> it was a lot. Okay. So she tried to greet Comedy Zeke a little similar, like in a easy kind of way. And the rest of Congress was not with it. <laughs> so... <laughs> After that whole she showed up wearing the golden yellow and the in the blue. No, she showed up trying to speak Yuki and the oh. blue and oh. went to the left. He was like, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, let me say what I need to say. And Congress was like, girl, we're not following behind you. We don't even know what you just said. <laughs> she was out there looking goofy. But anyway, so Comedy Zeke was like, you know what? Hey y'all, hey, hey, America Congress. Um, I don't know what you heard about me, but I'm out here, I'm at the Capitol. You feel me? Um, I can't even put no suit on at this point because I've been out here scrapping. I don't know how much time I'm going to have, right, between me doing these press conferences and then having to get out on the front line because mm-hmm. I still got to load guns and help my folks out. So basically, he was like, um, you know, we giving the rah-rahs, which is the Russian soldiers, we giving them a little run for their money, but they still cutting up. Mm-hmm. And so, peep game. We've been going back and forth with Big Bang Pete. That's Putin. We've been going back and forth for him for about eight years, okay? And we tired. We sick and tired of it, okay? He out here doing the most, and he's straight up wilding, and we sick of it. So mm-hmm. look, America, we just go tell it how it is. We just trying to be free. We want the same type of freedom America got. So you remember how y'all called y'all little president's faces in the mountains and stuff? That's how free y'all are. That's how free we want to be, too. I know that's <laughs> right. Right. So then he was like, like, and Comedy Zeke got deep on him. I'm not even going to hold you. He got deep. He was like, remember how y'all felt on December 7th in 1941 when Japan had snuck y'all at Pearl Harbor? Mm. Remember how spooked she was? Yeah, we feel like we feel like that, too. Right. Remember how y'all felt on 9-11 when them terrorists ran up on y'all? Mm-hmm. You're feeling that. America, America still traumatized. Yeah. So what you think going to mm-hmm. happen to us? Like, we literally been out here fighting for three weeks, and all we had was 10 days worth of P90X. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> right? So he like, we out here, like, it's bad out here, and I'm sick of it. So then he like, quite frankly, I'm confused why Big Bad USA is so scared of Big Bang P. It's not making no sense. All we did, we asked y'all for a no-fly zone. Y'all too scared to help us. Look, let's keep it real. We down here handling them on the ground floor. Mm-hmm. And it's just little old us. So mm-hmm. why y'all can't pull up in the sky and help us out? He out here killing kids and babies and stuff like that. And like, we need some help. And he was like, you know, um, if you got to off them, you just got to off them. Because it's like, it's not like they good people. So mm, it's true. which ones are you going to choose? You're going to choose the rah-rahs or you're going to choose the citizens? Because we just, again, we just want freedom like America. Then he was like, well, if you're not going to go in the sky for us, can we get some better weapons? Because, like, y'all gave us the stuff y'all took from Big Meech in 2007, and it's 2022. This Mm. is not enough. 
It's like, not now, when you say Big Meech, you're talking about the actual Big Meech from Detroit, I'll right? Talk about Big Meech from Detroit, baby. They I believe that. Them old guns. <laughs> they got a lot of guns from them. <laughs> I was making sure we wasn't talking about Meech McConnell. No, no, no. So, so we yeah, helped him out. We helped him out a little bit, but he like it's not enough. Like we need a little bit more. So, anyways, he took it there on him now because he was like, <clears throat> "Remember y'all, good brother Martin Luther King." When him said, I got a dream, and I know y'all remember him and y'all feel him because y'all gave him his own day in January. Well, look, I got needs. Mm -hmm. I got a need. And I need y'all to help me out right now. So stop messing with us. Stop playing with us, okay? Mm -hmm. And then he called him up for real. He was like, I don't know who got money over there in Russia, but pull it out today, okay? Clear the bank. Stop playing with me. America, where your soul at? Where your <laughs> old school values? You mm -hmm. feel me? Where your heart at? We got old school ways. We expose that. Help us out. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, granted, we just gave them a couple billion and we still ain't got no help on our student loans. But long story short, short story long, he needs some more money. He needs some more money and he needs some more help. So I feel like we and, need money, and, too. Ain't we in like right? such great debts everywhere? Like we owe so many people stuff. Apparently, our credit score is higher than the gas prices because we just keep loaded our money. But last I checked, we was in a deficit. But that ain't. That's rich folks business. I guess we good for it. Now, another person, like you said, that we were going to touch on and talk about, Jesse Smollett. Now, he ended up only getting six days or doing six days in jail out of the 150 he was supposed to get. How the hell did he walk out of jail scot-free? Okay, so. Okay, so boom. I'm going to hit you with it. He didn't really walk out scot-free. Mm -hmm. But he did have some good lawyers. So this what had happened. He was cutting up after he got his little sentence. After the judge told him about himself and was like, I'm sick of you and you're acting as trash and just go ahead and go to jail and do a little 90 days because I'm sick of it, right? Mm -hmm. And he was like, I got suicidal. Okay, cool. <laughs> so at the same time that the little commotion was going on, his lawyers, they so slick, they hit the judge with like three motions regarding his sentence. So they tried to get, him, get the judge to reduce the sentence or basically suspend the sentence so he wouldn't actually have to go to jail. And mm -hmm. the judge was like, no, deny. He going to jail. I'm sick of it. Like, he going to county jail. Like, he'll be okay. And so what his attorneys did, they were smart. They went straight to the Court of Appeal. And so when they took it to the Court of Appeal, the Court of Appeal was like, okay, well, he got 150 days in jail. It's going to take us way longer than 150 days to figure out, is this sentence even proper? So we going to let him out. Hold up. He got to give us 150K. We're going to let him out for now so we can review his case. Because what we don't want to do is be violating his rights, have him in jail for over, you know, for the 150 days. Then on the 154th day, we decide that his sentence or his conviction was improper. Then now he didn't already did his time and we all look stupid. And this was all the way to everybody's tax money. Now, legally, hi, real quick, if I may ask, being that you understand the legal system better than, you know, most people, why would it take 150 days to figure out whether or not he was worthy of a redraw? Like, aren't these people paid enough to be able to just be like, all right, let's figure this out real quick? You would think that, right? So it takes the court some time to review a case. So here's the thing. When you file for an appeal, you get to file, uh, the defendant will file the appeal, for example, and then the prosecutor has a certain amount of time to respond to that um, initial filing. And then the defendant can again respond to the prosecutor if they want to. When you file an appeal, in addition to that, you have, you're filing based on what happened in the courtroom. So none of that, we're not looking at evidence or who testified or who said what, they don't care about none of that. They wanna know where your constitutional rights violated in trial. Was your lawyer raggedy? You know what I mean? Was the judge being biased in a way that we can call him out on it? Is your jury phony? Like, do you got some real issues where the Constitution would be like, that's not okay. We don't want people going through that. So that's why it takes them so long. Then you got to think about the number of cases that go to the Court of Appeal. So it's only so many judges, but people getting convicted every day, B. Mm -hmm. So you got to wait your turn in line. So it could take 150 days before they even see your file. Then wow. after that, you know, so you got to think they didn't sit in trial with you. They don't know what happened. They got to read the papers. Then they got to look at the law and say, okay, so do this apply or do it not apply? So it could take well over a year 
almost two years, really, before the Court of Appeal even have anything to say to you about your case. Wow. Okay, so really wow. quickly, we're going to hit two other subjects, right? Stevie J. So he appeared to get fellatio during a video interview. And uh, this was while he was sitting down with our girl, Leah Henry from Leah's Lemonade. Now, would this be considered a form of sexual harassment? Okay, so boom. So when you think about sexual harassment, normally it is like a workplace type of situation, mm -hmm. right? And there's a lot of elements to that. So basically, for a sexual harassment case, you have to prove that the perpetrator um, made you feel so uncomfortable in your job that, like, you just could not go back. Like, you were just having straight anxiety every day. You feel some type of way about yourself. Like, they just made you feel like your work conditions are, like, trash, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And so in this particular case, in a legal sense, probably not really sexual harassment, now, she could probably file, like, a civil claim for sexual assault in some mm. capacity, which is, like, harmful and offensive conduct, you know what I mean? And then, like, basically, like, the person, they did it on purpose. And it seems like you, you did. Right. And mm -hmm. how you felt, right, how that act made you feel, like, you messed up now. Like, you didn't mess me up sexually. So... She could probably do that. That would be a civil claim. And, you know, she can get a little bread off of it. But the way she handled it, she handled it so cool. Yo, consummate yeah. professional. Shout out yeah. to Leo on that. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, now, last but not least, let's talk about this story that had so many hustlers divided. Had the room divided, man. Crimes of the heart. There was a sailor who killed his wife's boyfriend after catching them in the act. And I know this took place in, uh, you know, Virginia Beach. And every state has a different look at law when you talk about crimes of passion, what you can and can't do when you get set off in that type of way. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen? How's this going to play out? So I don't know specifically if Virginia has the affirmative defense of crime of passion, which basically means like, I didn't plan this. It just happened. I didn't even have time to think about it. I just acted because, like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. And if you were in my shoes, you wouldn't want to go to jail. Like, you would think that what I did was okay. Like, mm -hmm. I don't understand mm -hmm. the problem. So if they do have that type of defense in Virginia, then he might be all right because it seemed like he just walked in and, and caught him. You know what I'm saying? It, it depends on, like, when he got the night or, the excuse me, the gun why he came home when he came home did they have any issues before he got to the crib mm. like what was going on before that you know so the prosecution they gonna look at all of that to determine like okay so did he mean to do this but he was charged with second degree murder which in most states that means that he didn't think about it before he actually like he didn't plan plan the murder essentially right. like he just kind of he had some other stuff going on. He walked into it and the murder just happened. But it wasn't something that was like on the forefront of his mind. So depending on if they have that defense, which is an affirmative defense, still saying I did, I did off brother, mm -hmm. but I did it because my whole little feelings was hurt and it had nothing to do with nothing else. He might be all right on that. So does it matter that um, they're saying that he was in the room, left the room to go get the gun and then came back? Does that matter that to that timeline could be an issue because that so premeditation it could happen in an instant it doesn't mean that you took a week to decide you was gonna kill somebody mm -hmm. you could if, if five seconds if you took five seconds to decide i'm finna do this mm -hmm. that could be considered premeditation which means he could be in a lot of trouble with a jury if they not buying that he just happened to walk in the house and his wife was getting down with the get down mm -hmm. now do you think this person will get the minimum sentence if found guilty or the maximum Okay, well, nine times out of ten, folks like us don't normally get the min the minimal sentence. And mm -hmm. you know, he he's he's an officer of the Navy, so it depends on how they handle that. I that's I guess you got to look at if he got any priors, like mm -hmm. if he had been in trouble before and stuff like that. And then it's Virginia, so you just it depends on the county. It just. If he's black, he getting a book thrown out. I'm about him. to say he he gonna get a book. Don't let it, it be a white man places. that was the boyfriend. It, I'm about to say it might be a pocketbook, but it's gonna be a book for sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, there's certain uh, states, there's certain counties in Virginia where they still fly that Dukes of Hazard flag, so yeah. you never know what's it gonna be from place to place. Yeah. Yo, legally hyped as always. Thank you for taking time out of your busy thank schedule you. to break it all down so yeah, we can bleed the hype. If people want to follow you, where do they go? 
You already know. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. I am Legally Hype. Oh, I'm on Twitter, too. Follow me on Twitter. Hey. I did it. one time, y'all, for Legally Hype. Thank you. Thanks, Queen. We, we are the Morning Hustle.